if you find anybody backsliding today, it is because at the time of being born again, they did not burn the bridge behind them. If you find anybody becoming a prodigal son, it is because when he took the oath of following the Lord, he did not burn the bridge behind him. If you find any worker living the work of God, it is because when he came into the service of God, he did not burn the bridge behind him. If you find any preacher of sound doctrine, abandoning sound doctrine, and cannot preach it anymore, it is because when he became a preacher, he did not burn the bridge behind him. If you find a woman complaining, I have no child, I have no husband, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't know what I will do now, I'm discouraged, I cannot go to our fellowship again, I cannot serve God again, it is because you did not burn the bridge behind you when you became a Christian. If you want to get to the point where you will never look back, if you want to get to the point where even Satan will know he can never touch you, he can never bring you back to Egypt, if you want to get to the point of no return, if you want to get to the point where you say that heaven is certain and definite, no matter the temptation, no matter the problem, no matter the poverty, no matter the deprivation, I must get to that heaven. You need to burn the bridge behind you. If you want to be very definite and certain that when the rapture will happen in the morning, afternoon, night, any time, if nobody goes from your community, you will be the only single one. You must make the rapture. You'll burn the bridge behind you.